Hello, welcome to Lady Scorpius Tarot. I'm your host, Lady Scorpius. Today we're going to be reading for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of December 2019. This will be a general reading, so please take the messages that resonate, leave the rest behind. I'm going to be using my Sacred Symbols deck today, pulling maybe two cards from there, and or maybe three. And then I'm going to clarify using my Tarot, and then pull an Archetype card at the end by Carolyn Mist, okay? Let's get into it. <clears throat> All right, this is for Leo. Please give me a big fat thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and if you would like to see what's going on with you personally, because this is general, book me for personal private reading on www.ladyscopiestarot.com. All right, one second, y'all. I need some water. <laughs> All right. So, let's get into it. Universal Spirit, Angels, Ascending Gods, and Masters, please give me messages for my Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of December 2019. I ask for you to give me messages out of love, light, and clarity for my Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of December 2019. <clears throat> what messages do you have to share for my Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of December 2019? I ask for you to give me messages out of Love, light, and clarity for the month of December for my Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> okay. All right, Leo. The overall energy we have is stormy, okay? So some of my Leos was going through some type of stormy transition. I feel like some of you guys were going through some type of choppy waters or a situation where it was definitely hard, you know? It, was, it felt like you was me maybe feeling defeated. Um, things were getting the best of you. I just feel like you guys were going through some type of challenges, okay? You can also have been feeling like some type of sadness, depression, or whatever the case may be. Because right behind it, we had the burden basket. So some type of burdens that was heavy to bear, heavy to carry. I see you guys are trying to move through the storm. And um, <clears throat> whatever storm that you're currently going through right now, the universe is asking for you to know that things are going to get better, okay? You just got to rock the storm out, go through this transition, and things will get better, okay? So we have the first card is Truth. We have Vesica Pisces as the third card. And then we have Wealth. So I see a lot of you guys are finding out some type of truth surrounding like a situation financially. I feel like maybe you found out some intuitive shit um, with the Vesica Pisces. It's like your intuition is strong and you can be getting messages and downloads or having dreams, psychic visions, um, daydreaming. But some type of truth is coming to you in your visions. I'm seeing that. Um, maybe you can be intuitively getting messages from spirit. It's letting you know the truth about somebody or something surrounding like maybe a... Uh, money, finances, your home. Um, I do see with the wealth card, some of you guys might feel like, could have been feeling like you're not where you want to be at financially, but universe is here to show you that you're wealthy on all accounts. So a lot of you guys could be getting your money up, getting a new job, making some more money, um, just being wealthy mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, okay? <clears throat> and knowing that even if you are lacking money, you're wealthy on other <clears throat> Excuse me. You're wealthy on different accounts, okay? Such as your health, um, your spirituality, your happiness, you know? So let's get straight into it. I do see some type of like messages coming in, some type of truths being revealed about some type of storm you went through with somebody or some type of shit or challenge that you had to go through. I see some type of um some type of secret or truth was revealed, okay? I'm sorry, y'all, if I keep stopping. I have to get some water. I'm feeling like even with my throat chakra, since I did y'all reading, I'm getting like this burning sensation. So some of you guys could be, you know, having issues with like communicating your truths or wanting to communicate your truth now. All right. Universe is very clarify the truth card for my Leo, from Moon Rising and Venus for the month of December 2019. Why is the truth card here for my Leo, from Moon Rising and Venus? <clears throat> so 
we had the page of swords that came in reverse so somebody could be coming to you with messages trying to get some type of truth from you could be asking you questions about who you with what you're doing it could be different people gossiping about you or uh, whatever maybe rumors or something that's going around but some type of truth that was revealed okay somebody could be sending you a message or you can be sending them a message about getting the truth from them okay and um messages about truth and clarity and honesty okay um and i feel like maybe you did find out the truth but when you went out looking or spying or getting information you could have heard something from somebody else word on the street whatever the case may be friends could be gossiping like i said rumors but with the moon card it's like some type of secret was revealed okay with the moon card you definitely had fears and fears about the truth inside but then i feel like you found out about it so like whatever intu intuitively that you was getting whatever intuitive messages that you was getting or dreams or visions you found out about it so this person had secrets with the moon card or they could have been having like addictions or fears that they were holding on to but i do see the secrets okay and maybe um some of you guys decided just to be single with the earth energy some of you guys could be connected to a cancer um some of you guys could be connected to a gemini Libra, aquarius taurus virgo capricorn but i feel like maybe some type of truth was coming out where somebody just said that they want to be single or they was just moving and acting single when you found out about it or you decided to be single from them after finding out the truth about them, their addictions, or what they were doing secretly, okay? You guys could be also feeling like, okay, I'm, I'm better off on my own as well. Yeah, with the Ace of Wands, some of you guys are just wanting to start something new and passionate. Could be starting a new passionate relationship or could have found out that somebody else was doing that. So you decided just to focus on yourself. Why is the Ace of Wands here for my Leo Sun Moon Rising Venus for December 2019? Clarify the Ace of Wands. My little sun rising Venus. Yeah, some of you guys decided to start a new relationship, or you could have found out that your partner was start, starting a new relationship elsewhere, and that was the secret. Or maybe this was you. But we have Scorpio Cancer Pisces with this Ace of Cups, and then we have the Ace of Wands. So some type of passionate new beginning of love or emotional fulfillment. Okay. Um, some of you guys could be getting into a new relationship. Some of you guys could have found out about a pregnancy, or some of you guys could have had a new baby, or could be pregnant, because this also can represent pregnancy to me. But that's what I'm seeing, okay? Could have found out some truth about a pregnancy and somebody cut you off or you cut them off or whatever. But some type of truth was revealed. <clears throat> With the page of cups, could be surrounding the kids. Could have found out some truth about that. Or could be somebody coming in trying to give you some type of emotional apology or whatever the case may be. All right. Why is the message of Pisces here? For my Leo, some moon rising. Clarify the message of Pisces for my Leo, some moon rising. Venus for December 2019. Why is the rest of the Pisces here for my Leo? Some moon rising Venus for December 2019. Oh, we have this Ace of Swords come out again. All right. <clears throat> All right, so we have the Page of Swords. I said Ace. We have the Page of Swords coming out again. So somebody definitely found out some type of truth, or maybe intuitively somebody knew that she was in a partnership. We have this Three of Wands, I mean, Three of coins right here so this means like partnerships contracts working together partner up together and we have the temperance and we have the knight of cups so it's like some type of relationship or situation where somebody found out the truth about it maybe they found out they <clears throat> maybe somebody had some type of addictions that they were trying to temperance themselves from or you guys are working on tempering yourself from your emotions um after i mean because i feel like some of you guys could be dealing with a, a cancer pisces or scorpio that you kind of like you know, they come in and out your life or they really aloof or you have a lot of love for them. But I feel like it could be like you're involved in another partnership for some of you guys. So it's like you're trying to temper yourself from that. But somebody, somebody definitely found out something. There's some type of clarity or truth or intuitively, you know, somebody want to come back and give you some type of offer. But it's like you're trying to balance yourself and temper yourself from this connection or this addiction because it seems like you're already in a partnership for some of you guys or you're working towards a new partnership. Okay. All right. Oof. Yeah, we have the moon card. <laughs> These popped out. The ace of cups, the moon card, the ten of coins, and the nine of coins. So I feel like maybe um, the secret is like you have a new relationship or new love or something like that or a new baby, a new birth or something that was very, very loving. The cup is overflowing. Um, I feel like you're single or somebody that's single that's looking at you with this nine of coins and this moon card being here. We have the ten of coins. So maybe you don't, they don't know that you're secretly already in a relationship or maybe you ended something to be single to start something new. And that was a secret or fear. I'm seeing that for some of y'all as well. All right. Why is the wealth card here from my Leo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus for the month of December 2019? Clarify the wealth card. Why is the wealth card here for my Leo's? 
last month for both parties when I do your summer vibes and get it to the month of December 2019. We have the Tower card. So you can be dealing with Scorpio as well. Some of my Leos. We have the Two of Coins. So maybe something suddenly happened within this connection or relationship and you felt like it was being juggled or somebody was juggling you. Um, we do have the imp we have the Six of Coins, the Six of Cups. We have the Hermit card. So somebody from the past that you've been in isolation from, Leo, wants to return back to you or maybe you're thinking about returning back to them. You'll be having nostalgic thoughts about them, um, the memories that y'all shared. Maybe you knew them. You knew them as a child or in your youth or maybe you guys shared children together but i feel like somebody has been in isolation and hermit mode it could be you or them um and somebody definitely wanted to return so you can have a water sign scorpio cancer pisces that want to come back to you after some type of separation or hermit mode a time for reflection they could have left you to reflect on what's going on or just see things from a different light because maybe they were juggling you in the past with the two of coins and the tower card and you just the foundation just was rocked and the foundation was broken up and then we have the sun card and the empress so i mean some of you guys are just like maybe this person sees you as the mother of their child somebody that they love that they have children with they share children with um and they want to reconnect with that or this can just be you you know wanting to isolation mode from this person even though they want to come back to work on healing yourself and nurturing yourself with this empress card you can be just working on being a mom um or a father or you know just working on your beauty working on healing yourself and nurturing yourself and getting your mind right um being at peace with yourself being optimistic about yourself so it's like even though you've been through some type of heartbreak or betrayal or some type of truth was revealed about something and the foundation was shaken up. I feel like some of you guys are just trying to be optimistic about yourself and just work on healing yourself. Why is the Tower card here for my Leo? So I'm going to rise the Venus for the month of December 2019. Clarify the Tower card for my Leo. So I'm going to rise the Venus for the month of December 2019. Why is the Tower card here? Yeah, it was the ultimate betrayal. You could have felt betrayed maybe by a Scorpio Cancer, Pisces, male, female. Maybe this person backstabbed and betrayed you and put you through some type of heartbreak, lies, secrets. Everything was revealed. That's why we had the truth here in the best of Pisces because your intuition was on point, Leo. You could have been already knowing that this person was doing some sneaky shit behind your back and shady and you found out about it. So secrets was revealed. This person, this is the 10 with the 10 of swords. So it's like, this is the ultimate betrayal that somebody can do, you know, and this is a completion. So things are being coming to completion. You're working on loving yourself. It's like you had a lot of love for this person. And you had a relationship with this person, but you could have found out that they cup was given to somebody else or they had another other love on the side. And this thing could be just you, just like not want to give your cup to them no more, just blocking your cup with this fish being right here. Could be known for Pisces as well. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius as well. Okay? So that's why, yeah, and you guys was feeling trapped and stuck and bound in this connection. It was time to release and end it, okay? Um, some of you guys just want to work on your finances, okay? Maybe you got a lot of options, or this person had a lot of options and put you in aloof. You know, had you feeling aloof or confused emotionally, and now it's like you're just working on your finances and working on your goals and just trying to see things from a different perspective, but you decided to end things, okay? But I feel like somebody want to come back and give you a new opportunity with this um, page of, this King of Cups and this Ace of Coins. It's like they kind of like learned their hard mistakes. They learned from what they did, and they want to bring a new offer in. Um, but I feel like some of you guys are already looking at hit like, healing yourself and just ending shit okay with the death card and the hangman being here it's like you're trying to see things from a different perspective but now it's time to heal and grow and work on yourself and work on your abundance that's what i see with this wealth card being here you guys are just focused on your abundance after some type of betrayal and some type of loss and some type of storm that you're trying to get over okay so that's what i have for you i'm going to pull one arch type card and see what's going on my leo stay strong leos you're going to fight this storm you're going to go through the storm you will be wealthy you will have everything that you need once you get through these hurdles the truth is fulfilled the intuition is being height and heightened okay so pay attention to that for the month of december give me one on tight card for my leos some moon rising and venus for the month of december 2019 Oh, universe is saying for this wealth card, some of you guys are entrepreneurs and have businesses. Stay grounded, stay focused on that money and that business and that wealth will come in for sure. Keep on going. Alright, give me one one card from my Leo Summer Rising and Venus for the month of December 2019. Your archetype surrounds my Leo Summer Rising and Venus for the month of December 2019. Mystic. 
Ooh, you guys are mystical. So the light attributes, it says that reveals an um, intimate union with the divine. So a lot of my Leos, you guys have an intimate relationship with the divine, okay? And when you're working in your shadow self, it's like you're having delusional rapport with the divine. So you're being delusional to the spiritual truth or the messages that divine is trying to show you. And I feel like in the past, um, <clears throat> Leo, you guys were avoiding your intuition and your divine connection. But now you're pushing through as the mystic and knowing that you have an intimate connection in union with the divine so universe is trying to push through and send you messages your intuition is being heightened your psychic abilities is being heightened and your spirituality is increasing as well so you're going to fight this storm you're going to get through leo don't worry about it okay so that's what i have for my leos please give me a big fat thumbs up please subscribe to my channel if they resonate leave a comment below shout out to the people that's been liking supporting my channel and booking readings i really appreciate y'all i love y'all and i'll see y'all later